A and B are similar trapezium. Okay, and we've got A is 7, B is 9, and C is 21, and H is 4, all rounded to the nearest whole number. So it works out the maximum possible value for the length D, so this maximum value here, and calculate the minimum possible value of area B. Okay, so if we do the first one, first of all, so if we label the sides, so writing down the upper bound for each of A, B, and C, so if that is the upper bound of A will be 7.5, the upper bound of B will be 9.5, these will be rounded off to the nearest whole number, and of C it will be 21.5. Now we can write down the ratio of the length, because we've got two similar lengths. So it's going to be 7.5 to 21.5, and now we need to uh, get uh, this value here of D from 9.5. So D, and we're going from the smaller one to the larger one, so we need to multiply by 21.5 divided by 7.5 times 9.5. Now use the fraction button on your calculator and that will give you 817 over 30, which is approximately 27.23 recurring. Right, now we need to find the area of B. Uh, so we want to write down the lower bound because we want the lowest area of B. So if we write down the lower values of A, B, H and C. So this will now, because that's 7, it will be 6.5. This one, uh, H will be 3.5. Sorry, A, B will be 8.5. H will be 3.5 now. And C will be 20.5. Now, first of all, we need to find the area of the uh, trapezium. So to, uh, you add together the parallel sides at so 6.5 plus 8.5 times 3.5 divided by 2, and that will give you 105 over 4. Well, so the area of this one is 105 over 4. Now the length ratio, so we've got these are two corresponding lengths, so it's 6.5 to 20.5. Okay, if you want to find the area ratio from the length ratio, you need to square. So this will become 6.5 squared to 20.5 squared. We don't need to work that out. And we're going from the smaller to the larger. So the area of B will be 20.5 over 6.5 all squared times our area of A, which is 105 over 4. And that will give me 176,505 over 676, which is approximately equal to... 261.10. So this has been a video to show you how to find lengths on similar shapes and areas on similar shapes. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.